Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, great to be with you today. We're in verse 26 of Joel chapter 2. If you have your Bibles, uh, we're in the Old Testament. We're in the minor prophets, and minor doesn't mean any less important. It just means that, um, well, the prophecy was significantly shorter. We're in Joel chapter 2, verse 26. The Bible says, You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never again be put to shame. And my people shall never again be put to shame. That, by the way, is a theme that you're going to see woven throughout the rest of um, Joel's prophecy. We're going to talk about it a little bit more in our next devotion. But today, we're talking about, you know, this coming season of radical fruitfulness. And we're not just talking about um, the physical provision of God for his people, which, by the way, thank God for all of his blessings, right? Right? Thank God for all of his blessings. Maybe we'll handle this in, a, in two different ways today. Um, and the theme is this. We need to bless the blesser for how he has blessed us. We need to bless the blesser for how he has blessed us. I think that really is the message. It was the message of Joel for his people as God was faithful to bring the early and latter rains um, that means that the, the harvest was going to be robust. There was going to be great fruitfulness, not just in a physical sense, but in a spiritual sense. The reaction of God's people, the right reaction. You know, um, the appropriate response. The appropriate response to the blessings of God is to bless his name. You know, not, not, not be upset about what he's given, not be pining for something that he's given to somebody else. Not being critical, you know, that our blessings don't line up with the expectations that we have had, but a gratitude, you know, a gratitude, a thankfulness, um, a praising of the Lord, a choice, it is a choice to bless the blesser. You know, yesterday, or in, you know, the last devotion, Rejoicing in the Lord was the topic, you know, and that, that is a choice, to, to choose joy. To, to rejoice means to actively choose joy. Um, it is something that we do, not just something that happens to us. Sometimes we treat joy like it is, you know, just a condition of our circumstances, but it, it certainly isn't. And I think that joy is the fruit of gratitude. I think that joy is the fruit of having a heart that's aligned with, with God and the purposes of God and coming to God with open hands and laying down our expectations and our want uh, for control of our life. Um, I think that it is, um, gratitude is a fruit of the Spirit. You know, it's a byproduct of being in right relationship with God. Ingratitude is the opposite of all those things. Like if we are ultimately unthankful, it's not because God has failed us, because you know it's impossible for God to fail. So, you know, if I'm in those moments where I'm really upset about the, the condition of my situations, and I'm not saying to you today that you have to be happy with everything that's happening in your life, because there's hard stuff that we go through. And there are times where things are done to us that hurt, they're painful, you know, you, you can be wounded by situations. And I'm not saying that somehow it's like um, we have some sadistic happiness when, when evil happens to us. Um, I am saying to you today that we can rejoice in the Lord in all things, that we can be grateful that he is God over our lives. And for those things that he has done and even those things that he has allowed, Father knows best. Father knows best. And when you're in that place of gratitude, what happens is there's a supernatural joy that, that fills your heart. And when I'm struggling with gratitude towards God and circumstances, um, you know, I have known myself long enough to be able to recognize that that typically means that something is off in my perception or my attitude towards God. Something's wrong with me. This is what I'm saying. Something's wrong with me. Something's not wrong with God. And so, listen, today, choose 
to bless the blesser. Choose gratitude and thanksgiving. Um, watch the fruit of joy overfill your life as you just take time and, and examine the physical things that he's blessed you with. You know, the, the tangible things that you can touch that God has chosen to give to you. Even, you know, like when we thank God for a meal, you sit down and thank God for a meal. This is not a religious ritual. This is God, really. Thank you that I have the opportunity to, to enjoy this food and to fill my stomach and to be sustained. And then also today, rejoice in every spiritual blessing that the Father has given you in Christ in the heavenly places. He has abundantly abundantly blessed you and me. And that list is really long. Choose today. Choose to bless and to praise the name of the Lord because you belong to him. And because you belong to him, you will never be put to shame. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much that you bless us, God, that you provide for us, that you have gone exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond what we could ever imagine, even in the hard times. And Father, I pray for those struggling hearts right now. God, for those who just feel worn down and run over. Father, would you please lift their hearts, fill their sails with your, the wind of your spirit, and satisfy them with living waters in Jesus' name. Amen. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.